Hi y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. I thought I would do a gold, um, sort of bronzy gold eye today. Um, I know that gold is like a huge spring trend, so I thought I would try that out um, for Valentine's Day. So you can wear this for Valentine's Day or just go ahead and wear it um, as a spring eye look. Uh, so to start with, let's see, I'm going to use my Coastal Scents Metal Mania palette. And these are the colors, if I can get it open. The colors that I'm going to use are right here, this kind of gold colored one. And then here, and then this dark brown down here. Okay, so I guess I can count and put it down below exactly. Oh, and then a highlight up here, this one, the second one, okay? So, to start off, I'm going to take my, um, I do have some eyeshadow on just from earlier this morning. It's just some Soba and some corduroy in the crease. I'm not even going to bother to take it off. I'm just going to put some primer potion on top of it. I do that a lot um, when I come home and, you know, I don't really want to wash my face and start over. So, I will just kind of um, start, you know, with a primer potion over whatever eyeshadow I already have on. So, I will do that, and I'm going to use my little MAC Studio Fix as a mirror so that I can see. Okay, so go ahead and get that on to your lid, and then this is a gold uh, Milani Liquify Eyeliner Pencil. Any gold liner or cream color base or, you know, shadow that you have will work for this, and you are, oops. Let's see, okay. Just gonna take this and get it right here. Is that too high? Okay. Get it onto your lid. I don't know if y'all can see that. I'm kind of at an awkward angle. Right here. Get it onto your lid. And just kind of smudge it, you know, everywhere. That's probably a better angle. Okay, and I always do kind of an almond shape with uh, my cream color bases because it's the shape of my eye, but just get it in here. And then get some underneath. And onto your waterline, which would be, let me get that really quick. Onto your waterline. My mirror's not going to stay up. Nope. Okay. This is awkward. Onto your waterline. Sorry. Okay. Just get that gold base, whatever you decide to use, into that. Shadow. And then you're going to take that gold color that I told you earlier, um, it's like a true gold, and get it onto just an eyeshadow brush and get that into your inner lid, like so, and you can take it all the way across so that it's everywhere. And then get a little bit underneath, like so. Then I'm going to take a dark brown eye pencil. This is a Sonia Kushak brown eye pencil. And I'm going to draw a little V out here into my crease, like so. Just a little one. You go up and like, it's a side where you use V. What I'm doing. Oh, got a little too much on that outside corner. Oh. And then you can bring it in a little bit. Like so. Okay, now I did get a little too much right there. Okay. Now you're going to take that dark brown color and get it onto an eyeshadow brush and 
put it into that outside area. And just darken it up. Just that outer area. And then you can start blending very lightly. Now you can also get it onto this pencil brush and pop it underneath. Do the same thing on your other side so that they match. I always have a hard time making these things match after I do them. Okay. And I'll show you which colors I used again because it's a little confusing with these palettes because they don't have names or anything. Um, just, you know, if you don't have that palette, you can use, MAC has some good golds and some bronzes, and so do um, L'Oreal, like Hip Pigments. They've got some really good uh, gold pigments also. A little more of, my, more of that regular gold color into your inner eye area right here, like I did before. Just like that. And then you can go back in and blend a little. Okay, and then um, take that highlight color that I showed you guys, get it onto a brush, put it onto the inside corner of your eye area. Yes, Ella. Really? And then underneath your highlight, or as your highlight, like so. And But make sure you blend, though, because blending is very, very important. Um, especially like even with your highlight colors, I always run my blender brush up where my highlight colors are because sometimes it's just a little too much and it takes a little bit off and it relaxes it a little and makes it look a little nicer. Okay. So you can just continue to build up the intensity of that gold uh, shade on the inner portion of your eye, just so that it looks like liquid gold on your lid. This camera is not picking it up as nicely as I hoped it would, um, because it actually is very, very gold, and I think it looks so pretty. And with my pencil brush, I'm getting that gold again, making sure that I have a good concentration of it underneath my eye area. I like to have a lot of shadow sometimes underneath my eye area. I think it makes my eyes pop a little bit. And you just want to blend ever so lightly. Just to make sure everything kind of flows together. Okay. So there it is. I don't know if um, the camera's not picking it up because of the fact that I covered my light because I thought this would be too bright um, to have. It may not. That might actually be a little better for the color pickup. But here it is right here. Let's see. Let me turn it like, you know what? I think if I bring this oops, up a little. Like this. Can you see the gold? Okay, so there's the gold color. Uh -oh, whoops. Sorry, I've got everything going. Now my coin machine's going crazy. Um, I use my coin machine to prop my computer up when I record. Or it's not my coin machine, it's my husband's. Okay. So to go back over the colors that I used, it's the Coastal Sense Metal Mania palette. This is that light gold color that I've got on the inner. It's the true gold on the inner corner or inner areas. This is the, where are you? Dark brown, where are you? This one is the dark brown that I used on the outer area of my eye. And this one right here is the highlight shade that I put on the inner corners as well as up here, just to kind of give a little bit of light to that area and keep it bright. Um, like I said though, you know, MAC makes a really pretty bronze color that you can substitute for that. This one is a lot like Goldmine. Goldmine is a little bit more yellow, which is actually really pretty. 
And then this one, I would suggest maybe like nylon. Um, that's if you want to use matte, pig, matte colors. If you don't want to use matte colors, like I said, you can find L'Oreal hip pigments that will do the, the job very, very nicely. Um, or really anything else. I just thought I would change it up because I do a lot of my tutorials with MAC or NARS or Smashbox. Um, and I hadn't used my Coastal Sense palettes in a long time. And they're really nice to have because if you decide on a whim that you want to use a color that you don't have in your collection, um, and I forget about them a lot too, you know, you can open them up and you've got every color in the rainbow. So you're not having to run out and buy, you know, a crazy orange color, a crazy yellow color that you may only wear once if you decide you don't like it. So that's why I like the Coastal Sense palettes. Um, I just put some brow gel on my eyelashes and I'm just going to use whatever blush is left on my brush. It's probably Hard Candy's Living Doll. That's what I wear the most of anyhow. Just going to pop that onto my cheeks again. Um, just for some color there. And then I will curl my lash. And put another coat of mascara onto that uh, side of my face on those lashes. Um, one of the best things about like touching your makeup up at night or trying to create an entirely different look at night after you've been wearing your makeup all day is that it's already set like on your face, you know? So you can, I literally just powder to touch up any areas that might need, you know, more coverage if I need to with foundation or anything like that and then powder um, and then just start with the what's it called? Eyeshadow base underneath or on top of whatever shadow I have that's already there. I find it creates really nice looks. Some people may not like that, but I do. Um, and the other thing too is when I have already worn mascara for an entire day, it's on my lashes already. And I curl after I get whatever eyeshadow fallout from my eyes I have on there. Um, and I curl again and then apply another coat. They look bigger or better um, to me. So, you know, for evening, a little bit more drama. Um, for me, it's easier to start with an already dirty or um, day look eye and just transition it into night. I don't know if dirty is a good term to use for that. But to me, it's just a little bit easier to do that. Um... So that was this Metal Mania palette. Like I said, substitute whatever colors you want for it. And it's pretty simple. All my looks are pretty simple because I'm not a makeup artist. I don't claim to be. I just do what I like um, and what I think looks good. So I hope you all enjoy that. And I hope that gives you all some inspiration for the upcoming spring um, trend, you know, the spring season, uh, as well as something maybe for Valentine's Day. I did do kind of a brighter pink lip gloss. This is Smashbox's lip gloss. Uh, there's no color on here. Great. I hate when I hate when products do that. It's just a Smashbox. It's a little kind of pop of pink. I didn't want anything too dramatic since my eyes are already pretty gold or yellow gold. So I kept it kind of semi-neutral, semi-pink <laughs> in between. Oh, and on my nails is Essie's um, little brown dress. So hope you all enjoyed that and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.